Today we're going to be talking about reversal patterns, and specifically the double top and the double bottom. A double top is when a stock trades up to a resistance level two times in a relatively short time frame, and a double bottom is when a stock trades down to a support level two times in a relatively short time frame. As you can see from the graph on the left, we have the stock in an uptrend. It moves up to a resistance level, has a pullback to a pullback low, moves up a second time to the resistance level, and then pulls back and dives lower than the first pullback low. So basically with a double top, you have sort of an M pattern. And with a double bottom, you're going to have a W pattern. And when the stock breaks out of the pattern, as it does here on the right side of this graph, and moves lower, that is your signal to either sell the stock if you're long, or go short the stock. The psychology behind the double top is that the stock has traded up to resistance and has failed to penetrate higher, so the bulls have started to lose control. The stock has a pullback, and instead of rising and going through resistance the second time, which would confirm the bullish pattern, the stock peters out at the top a second time, showing that the bears are now in control of the stock, and then the completion of the pattern when the stock drops lower than the first pullback indicates a reversal in the bullish trend and that the bears are now in control of the stock. And the same is true for the double bottom, with the psychology being that the stock that has been in a downtrend is now reversing course because it has failed to break through a support level two times in a row. And now the bulls are taking control as they take it higher than the pullback high reached and the double bottom pattern. Let's see what this looks like on a chart. Let's take a look at a double top in the chart of advanced micro devices or AMD. We have the stock in a clear uptrend. Moving up here, we have a pullback in the stock. And then another attempt to go through a resistance level, the high that has been set by the stock previously, and then a move down in the stock. And as it breaks through this level right around 31, that's the point where we want to go short the stock. So you can see we have the M pattern as the bulls are in control. They lose control and the stock pulls back. But if the stock were to continue higher here in late September and break above this resistance level, then the bull move would still be intact. But the stock doesn't. It pulls back. Now, if it were to hold this support level now and move higher, it would still be a buy and still be in the bull pattern. But the stock breaks through here in late September to the downside. And when the stock breaks to the downside, that's when we want to either sell our long position that we've held during this bull run, or we may want to go short the stock as it completes the double top pattern. So that's a double top in AMD reversing a bullish pattern with the stock now in a bear trend. Now let's look at a double bottom in the stock of Intel. The stock is in a bearish trend. It makes a bottom here right around the 33 and a half level. The stock bounces higher. The W and M pattern do not have to be perfect. The stock then comes back, retests the low for a second time, and then finally moves higher, goes through the pullback high, and continues higher. It is at this point that we would have either covered short positions we may have had in the stock, or go long the stock, as it completes the double bottom pattern and moves higher to the upside. So that's a double bottom in the stock of Intel.
Thank you for watching this video on the double top and the double bottom reversal patterns. In our next video, we'll be talking about another type of reversal pattern, the head and shoulders pattern and the reverse head and shoulders pattern. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.